Hello, this is Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to be going over checkboxes in Java FX. So, I have a anchor pane here as my root um, layout, okay, in my scene. And then I'm just calling the load method in here, which we are going to be adding in everything. So, to start off, let's create two checkboxes. So, let's do checkbox, and then let's just do uh, C1 is equal to a new checkbox. And then we could just give it a name, so we just go um, option one, okay. And then we can just do the exact same thing. Go C two to a new uh, new checkbox, and then we just go with option two. So all we're doing here is we are creating two checkboxes with the value of option one and option uh, two, okay. So once this is done. Uh, what we can do is we can create a vbox. So equal that to a new vbox, and by doing this, we are just got, we're just going to be displaying uh, our our checkboxes uh, in a vertical layout. Okay, and then what we can do is we can just add these two checkboxes into this vbox here. So we'll just do a vbox dot add all. Uh, add, oh, sorry, we do a dot get children first. Dot add uh, all, and then we will just pass in C1 and C2. Just like that, we have added these two checkboxes to our vertical box. And now, what we can do is firstly, we can set the spacing, which I kind of want to do. So, vbox dot set spacing, let's just do 20. And then what we can do is we can add this vertical box that contains these two checkboxes to our main uh, root. Okay, so we go uh, root dot get children dot add, and we just have to add in our vbox. And just like that, once we run it, you can see we have option one and option two. Now what we need to do is we need to create a event handler to check which option which option is selected. Okay. So to do that, let's do this after we have uh, created our root. So let's just do it after this. So let's do it here at the end. So now we are going to create a event handler. So let's do event handler. Then this is an action event. Then we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to do event is equal to new event handler. I'm going to pass, pass in an uh, action event in here okay and then this and then we need to create ourselves a a method name so let's just do public void I'm just gonna name a handle in here we will pass in uh, the action event okay and then this is the method that we are going to be uh, using okay now, well, we also need to have a semicolon there just to complete this event handler. And just like that, we have created a event handler. Now, what we can do is we can just print out. Um, we can do uh, checked, for example. So anytime you know, we check one of those checkboxes, uh, this event hand handler will pick it up. It will call this method here, and we will just print out checked. Now, this will not work at the moment because we need to assign this event handler to these two checkboxes. Okay, so after we have set our event handler, let's just do, uh, let's go down. So we do C1 dot, uh, dot, uh, C1 dot uh, set on action. And then we just need to pass in the name of our event, which we named event. And then we can just do the exact same thing for uh, our checkbox too. So uh, set on action and then event as well. So now, whenever we check one of these uh, checkboxes, we will print out checked. Just like that. Or even if we uncheck it. Okay? But now, we need a way to check which checkbox is actually checked. Okay? So the way that we'll do that is let's remove this. And, and let's do this. Let's, let's create an if statement and we'll do if, uh, if C1, if this checkbox, if, if our first checkbox dot is selected okay so if this is selected ooh, this has to be inside of here is 
uh, selected. We will print out, uh, print out uh, checked one. Okay, and then we'll do if else uh, c1 dot is uh, is selected. We will print out uh, else if sorry else if we we will print out uh, checked two. Now this will not work. Uh, the way we want it to work because if we uh, if we press option one you can see we get checked one because uh, c1 is selected now if we uncheck this and we check option two and uh, this has to be c2 that's my bad let's re rerun that again so if we take option one we get checked one and then we untick that we check we take this we check this one we get checked two now if we check the option one, we get checked one, and then if we check option two, we still get checked one. The reason why this happens is, even though option two is set, is uh, is checked, uh, in in our code we check first if uh, our first checkbox is checked, and because it is checked, we will print out this first if statement, and we won't go on to the second one. So there's a couple ways that we can uh, fix that. So the way we can do that is we can go if c1 dot is selected and then what we can do and if c2 dot is selected and then we can print out uh, both checked okay now if we run this see if we select option one we get checked one if we select option two we get checked two and then if we select both of them we get both are checked and because this is an if this actually has been else so now it should work efficiently so if we run this now if we check option one it's checked one if we check option two it's checked two and then if we check both of them we get checked one and then if i check the second one we get both are checked so these two will no longer get activated so that's about it for this video. Hope this video helped. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.